having quality audio is significantly more important than video, in my opinion. In this episode, we'll be looking into LiveU's audio solutions and best practices. Because we know what you're thinking, with two crews so far away, what is the best way to communicate? And how best do you integrate the multitude of mics and audio sources that may be a part of your main production? While the focus has been mainly video in this series, we know the value in audio and in all its complexities. So we hope to address some of your most frequent questions in this episode. Communication requirements tend to vary, but that standard need is typically low latency and two-way. This sounds like a phone call, but it's not as simple, and with bonding networks, there is an advantage in leveraging your live view system for this, especially when locations your field crew may be located at vary so frequently. There are two options to leverage the LiveU bonded solution in solving for clear and easy communication in a Remy setup. The first we'll cover is Audio Connect. Audio Connect is a licensed add-on to your system that offers bi-directional communication between your camera operator and your control room. Audio Connect lets you plug into a two-way audio channel on the server, usually using an analog connectors such as XLR. People at the event location then hear and can speak to people on the far side using a headset or other mic and headphones plugged into the 3.5 millimeter jack found on all LiveU units. Audio Connect also gives you multiple types of communication scenarios. One way, two way or intercom, one to many, and many to many, which acts like a party line. The flexibility of these options allows producers to use the optimal communication solution for every production scenario. The second option is to leverage a third-party, low-bandwidth IP-based intercom solution over IP pipe, if you'd like a little bit more flexibility. The IP pipe allows you to seamlessly link a network near the LiveView server with any network located near the field units over an Ethernet port on the devices. IP pipe can also be enabled to control other network-based equipment, but we'll cover that in the next episode. All LiveU units take audio channels in via the same primary connection used for video, most often SDI or HDMI. This means you'll need to multiplex other sources of audio at the production site into those connections and demultiplex them on the far side if you then need those channels discreetly. Audio mux and demux options can range from MIDI converters, which may be convenient for the event site side, to open frame form factor cards, which may be a good fit for the production site. There are a few examples of audio muxes and demuxes listed in the description, but this is not an exhaustive list and many options exist. The great news is that LiveView can support more embedded audio channels than ever before with the LU800, up to 16 channels. The amount of audio channels your production is transporting back to your audio console is an important consideration when choosing which LiveView unit to leverage. So whether you're doing your mix minus on site or at your home production facility, LiveView's got you covered. Thank you so much for watching. For more information about Audio Connect and our audio-based solutions, check out the links in the description. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. In our next episode, we'll be going through the rest of LiveView's production-oriented features, guaranteed to bring your at-home productions to the next level. We'll see you there.